So we're out here day two with the septic. We got our tool set here. Smell that fresh air. Oh God, no, I gotta put that back. Gotta put that back. Okay, yeah, day two septic. Loving it. We got our, okay, so in all serious now. We got our root cutter kit. We're hoping to use these, uh, these hooks here to grab onto some of the root ball. Jim was nice enough to loan us our Rancho San Lucas grappling hook and some nylon. We got a retaining safety bar here so we can uh, use this to retain the lines and make sure we don't lose any tools in the septic. And we got this kind of legacy scooper scraper thingy we're going to use to cut the edge and all the little frilly bits, the tendrils and whatnot. Got a couple of things going on already. Gonna use the new line snake, run it down the uh, septic, try to pull, or excuse me, down the leech, try to pull anything out of the leech before we do the foaming treatment. But before we do any of that, we're gonna try to get that root ball out of there. Not sure if you can see it, but it represents about half of the tank that way and about a fourth of the tank uh, height-wise in volume. So we're hoping to use a grappling hook and or the pruners to grab it. There appears to be three main, main clumps. So we're gonna try to grab one or two of those at a time and yank them out. And we're gonna put them over there uh, where then uh, later today, hopefully Jim comes through with the tractor and we start dredging this stuff up, which is already kind of stinky. And we just mix it with this stinky stuff and push it that way and likely bury it. So that way we don't have to deal with the smell and we don't have to deal with the uh, organic material. We're gonna try to do the same thing on the slightly higher solid waste side, pull up as much as we can of the root systems and stuff so we don't have to have so much uh, organic waste in the, inside the tank. And then we'll start the treatments, then we'll start the you know, root killer and all that kind of stuff. So step after step, first get the root systems out, snake the line, foam the line, root treat the tank and root treat the uh, house and then hope hope it goes well from there we'll keep an eye on it and then we'll of course check back in with video as we uh, progress along this plan okay plan one uh passive pulleys we use these metal pipes got the grappling hook down the hole grab the material bring it up to the level of the pipe and we can use the pitchforks and the brakes to drag it over there and use the tension from there Bring it up to this metal pipe here. That way that we can actually put some horizontal motion on it without throwing our back out trying to lift out of this 20 foot pit. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, I was gonna just time lapse this whole process, but it happened a lot faster than I thought. So this is one root ball that came out of there. I don't know how long root killer would take to dissolve that. I'm actually gonna put it in a bucket and figure that out because I'd like to know. Yeah, be later. So we're going to keep doing this. Of course it did. And to the bottom. We got that out. Now I get a new That pipe. That's taking up seriously less room than that root ball was. Okay, we've uh, scooped out the liquids section and came up with this much root material from over there. About 300 pounds worth. Yeah, 300 pounds soaking wet root material. Pretty big ones, you can see. Nice systems really getting in there. But that tank's pretty clear now. It's just uh, some basic waste. So we really feel that the root killer stuff will, will definitely handle what's left in there without having to deal with all this. And uh, feeling successful, we're gonna go ahead and tackle this. This collar is gonna complicate things a little bit, so kind of getting our procedure perfected on the easy one, and we'll move over to this one. 
Uh, Jim's coming around now with the tractor. Start kind of gauging how much we got to dig out of here and take some of this root waste and move it on. Happy holidays. I have to pay to see that. Okay, take it up. Pick it up. Dropped it. Dropped it. So as with most projects, as the sun sets, the ideas start flowing. So instead of hand grappling and shoveling we decided to just tether the two together so you can physically start hooking stuff and yanking it out of there so far so good the root system seems to be tied into the bottom as well so uh, we're just ripping it off the bottom right now we'll check in with this new idea this new apparatus it's working so we're going to keep using it all right sun's gone down doesn't mean we're quitting mm -mm. no we got new and approved tools I'm calling this the Midas Touch, the Trident of Midas. So far we've caught some more lovely stuff. Still at it, got it pretty broke free. At one point we got a piece so big, we pulled it up, it wouldn't fit through that hole. And ultimately got rejected and broke in half and fell back in, so touch is the life. But we're making good progress, and uh, we should be done before the, uh, the coyotes start showing up. Should be good. Check in there. All right. About 150 pounds of crap. 150 pounds. We just One pulled piece. out. We just pulled out Floby Dick with Ahab spear. How's that for views? Look how thick that is. That's the whole bottom of the septic. What's that? All right, we're calling it for the night. It's getting a little dark. We can't really see the orientation of the Midas hook, which is kind of critical to actually getting stuff out. Uh, so we went ahead and capped everything. Um, some of the products we got from True Value, the Foaming Root Killer by Aerobic. Uh, we're gonna use this to treat the leach field access port. I'm gonna dump this in, and we're gonna follow it up with a five gallon jug of water right on top. Boom, foaming action should force the foam down the, septa or the leach system and hopefully get rid of the roots down in the leach system. Uh, we have a different treatment we're going to use uh, in here for the remaining roots. Uh, tomorrow we'll probably unpack this, maybe try to get the rest of it out of there before we put these caustic chemicals that are you know, harmful to handle. So we're basically doing all the root removal with no chemicals in, and once we're satisfied with all the organic removal, then we'll start doing chemical treatments where we're no longer going to be possible getting splashed back or anything. This is the final pile. Uh, material four or five hundred pounds yeah it's like four or five hundred pounds soaking wet of course but it's just pain in the ass to pull up out of 15 feet hole so anyway we're gonna dump this stuff in put this jug on and uh call it a night no usage for four to six hours which is kind of on our schedule anyway so it's a good time to do these procedures so check in tomorrow So I'm hearing um, I'm hearing water back. So the septic's flooded. Or excuse me, the leach is flooded, such that it's backdrafting all the water into the wet field. No. Alright, well, we'll let that do its thing. Cap the, on, dude. the root killer is only going to do its work in there for us. We're done in the, in the liquid system. So that if a little chemical gets in there, that's fine. We're basically done. Put this shit back on. Don't get any blowback. Okay, we've made the junior executive decision of uh, just treating everything tonight because we got to let it sit for four to eight hours or whatever. So we're going to treat it tonight. Everyone's not using the water already. So we'll stay on that program for the remainder of the day. Uh, we're going to put in the aerobic root killer destroys the roots. This is a tank treatment. 
So we did the foaming treatment over there and basically had water flow back pretty rapidly. So um, that's concerning, but the treatment's down. I stopped the flow of water, so hopefully the treatment will start doing something. Um, we'll maybe wait for the Joe to come out and look at that or whatever. Uh, so we've got a little bit of roots left. We debated if we're going to help fish those out tomorrow. Not really worth our time. We're going to go do something more enjoyable tomorrow. So anyway, we're just going to dump this in now. Boop. Then we're going to do a foaming treatment uh, from the guest bathroom, which uh, should foam underneath the house line and the line out to the septic for roots. So <coughs> we're pretty confident. <coughs> Again, smell of vision. You should be glad at home. You're not, that doesn't exist yet, but uh the tree is likely the culprit based on the root systems and everything it's probably the culprit and the tree exists between the house and the tank so the likelihood of roots being in that line are you know present so we're going to go ahead and do the foam treatment that way and push it out so we came to the conclusion that that treatment would ultimately push into this tank and would pollute the remaining root system and everything so instead of waiting and doing all that we're just going to treat everything right now and hope for the best we got a lot out so we're, we're confident so this should wrap up the, um, the septic at home do-it-yourself service call because apparently there aren't any people that do this in the vicinity anymore so now we do it no problem well of course Nice color choice, Ruby. Blue Cascade, and we did the uh, inner treatment now, and you see we got foam, which means we're getting flow from the back toilet all the way through with the foamy stuff. So that means hopefully it's being treated right now. So we've stopped flushing, stopped using water, we're gonna shut this up, pretend we don't have anything to do with this for the next eight hours and then tomorrow, see what's going on.